and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, I'm going to go over the market a little bit. So, obviously, there were things that we expected to happen and things that we did not expect to happen that would occur after the new series launch and the new Redux players and all the limited time things that were going to happen. Now, obviously, I was very excited for the LTD drops and the Redux drops that we'll be getting in Series 3, but EA kind of botched. And if you didn't know, EA did not give us an exchange set specifically meant for Redux and stuff like they did last year. It's so not that it was specifically like that you could pull a redux it was more so that you had a chance to pull a redux if you go over to exchange and you go all the way down you'll see that instead of an 89 to 90 exchange they gave us a mutt hero exchange which i don't know where they put it but point being is that typically every series would have like a we'd have a set where it was like exchange 89s and 90s right for a 90s 91 which could have given us a big a good chance at a redux player but they made it that it was a mutt hero only set. i do not know where it is though it might just be a mutt heroes but the point is, it's kind of horrible that they did this. Yeah, it's right there, 90 to 91 overall hero. It's very, very annoying that they did this because now Reduxes are super expensive, which I'm going to go over because I was super hyped for this series so that I can get like Redux Aaron Donald, Randy Moss, Kittle, Kamar, all these guys. But now they're going to be super expensive because literally the only way to pull them is by pulling them from packs now, which is not the easiest thing to do. So they're going to still be, they, some of them are just as expensive as long the time. So it's starting to appear to me that it's to get a Redux player that you want, you know, you can't get to the next series. You have to wait for the following series. Because like guys like Devontae Adams and all those guys, those guys were when they first came out were this high. When they became Reduxes, they were like still this high, like still overpriced. And now they're their they're second series in, now they're like average price, like what they should be for their overall. So that kind of sucks. I have to wait, I literally have to wait two months to get any player that I want that comes out at this moment in time. Kind of really stunts the whole growth and whole potential of like Redux and LTDs in my opinion. Some people might not even stay and play that game for that long. Like limited time cards that come out for Christmas, most people probably won't even be playing by February to get those cards, which is really, really annoying. Like Super Bowl limited times, those won't be, Super Bowl limited times will happen in February, which means you won't be able to get them for affordable price until like May, April, depending, which is really, really bad in my opinion. It's a bad look for the, the whole limited time game. But guys, let's go ahead over to the market. But before we get into the video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, boys, turn on that noti bell. Make sure to come join the family, boys. I appreciate each and every one of you that come out every day to watch these videos. Make sure to comment down below. What do you guys think of the LTD system and the Redux system? Are you guys disappointed by the prices too? Because I know me personally, I'm very disappointed by the way they went about this. And if you haven't already, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, boys. Let's get this video to 200 likes. You guys have been smashing the like button and you guys did hit that like goal. So I'm trying to get a haircut today. I'll see if I can get an appointment in guys. But let's head on over to the market. So like I said, I'm pretty sad about the way that the market is trending if for certain cards, right? Certain things are great, but like... To have fun in Ultimate Team, the essence of everything we've ever enjoyed in Ultimate Team is new stuff, right? Old cards that are good are cool, but we want, we're, we're like squirrels, right? Like, low attention spans, we want what's new right now. We're the hype beast in Madden. Now, that's what Madden's Ultimate Team is, hype beast on new cards. I'm done playing Madden, limited time drops, $100 later, don't have, you know, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, we react to the moment, so, to have all these cool cards like Ezekiel Elliott, Aaron Donald, Randy Moss, Dion coming left and right, and for no one to be able to get them and have to wait two months, it kind of sucks, because now... Like, now that I get them, I'm less excited, right? I was so hyped for Dion two months ago, like a month ago when he came out, I mean. And now that I have him, like, he's cool. I like him, but, like, having him a month or two ago would have been way cooler. But let's go over. I'm going to start. I'm not going to go from the 80 to 81s. I'm not going to go from the 82 to 83s. Those are, we know. I'll tell you right now. 8K, like 11K, 17K, 20K, 30K. I'm telling you, there's no point. Let's start up higher where it's a little bit more fun from, like, the 86 to 87s. Again, pretty, pretty cheap. Obviously, these are always going to get flooded by Legend set piece throughout the year. So, always stay on the lookout for these on Legend Saturdays. You could probably get these for pretty cheap and, quite honestly, either build them for cheap or if you don't want to build them, you could just snipe them for cheap and then resell them. That's all up to you. Just a great thing to be looking for today. It's obviously Monday, so you will not be seeing these till Saturday as a great option to look at. But, always good to know. Now, again, the 87s. 87s, the only good thing about them are the base elites. I like to look at base elites. These guys like Julio for 40k. Like, those are pretty great prices for guys that you're going to eventually power up. I'd like to see where Pat Mahomes is sitting at because obviously I think Pat Mahomes will be getting a card pretty soon. I think he'll be getting a Thanksgiving card. So if you guys want to get Pat Mahomes for Thanksgiving, I'd recommend you go sit on his price pretty soon and make sure you get a good value for him. McCall Hardman right there. Cole Hardman's a beast, guys. He's a beast, 94 speed. And you guys are saying I don't, his beat press, I don't really care what his beat press is because I'm, I'm, I don't use McCall Hardman as a streak specialist. I don't use him to break press. I don't use him on man. McCall Hardman for me is strictly a guy who will get in space and then he will make plays in space. That's kind of the kind of the, what I plan to use him for, nothing else. And also he was a good returner. But then of course, I get McCall Hardman to kick return for me 
and then I get the power pass and get Dion. So McCall Hardman actually took not one kick return for me, which is kind of upsetting. I was pretty excited for him. But let's keep on heading over to the 88s, 89s. These guys, you know, training values are all over the place now. Do with that as you will. Would I recommend looking in this area? There's some hidden gems here. Jabril Peppers is pretty good. Uh, again, you want to be looking for these base elites too, because honestly, the base elites, a lot of these are going to get cards soon. Obviously, not all of them, but there's some guys that are will be a part of upgrade chains. Like, I know Khalil Mack, still an awesome card. Do I still have him on my team? Hold up. I do not. Okay, I actually ended up selling. Good thing I sold him for like 200k because he's like 80k now. A guy like Khalil Mack, I definitely want Khalil Mack on my team, but he's such a bane because his, his, his kickoff card, like, I don't know what they were thinking. Now I'm screwed with that kickoff card being super expensive. I do not feel like using my power pass on that stupid kickoff card. It doesn't make sense, you know what I'm saying? Like, get a card that's equally as good as Von Miller at this exact moment. Now, you keep on heading down. Obviously, the bottom's gonna be flooded with these kickoff cards and this stuff. Like, obviously, the ultimate kickoff cards are cool, but. A, a, the trend that I'm realizing that a lot of these kickoff cards, they aren't giving them actual cards, which kind of sucks. Like, Cooper Cup is having an historic season for for his caliber, right? Like, compared to what you thought Cooper Cup was, like, last year he came into the year, five games, was on a good, good pace, got hurt towards ACL, came back. He's playing great off an ACL tear. He's probably, he's one of the, he's probably a top five receiver in the league right now, performance-wise. Don't, don't tell me ability. Don't tell me he's white. Don't tell me... The way he's playing is top five. I don't care that Julio, down all those guys... Are physically more gifted than him fast and everything he is top five right now stat wise right up there with Amari cooper and those guys and they are not getting the same love as some of the other guys although cooper cups should certainly have a card right now but let's head on up again i mean there's a few things they've done a little weird this year i'm not a fan of those ultimate kickoff cards personally i do like the fact that i got their collectible i got a random collectible it was the 49ers and coincidentally they're the only undefeated team in the nfl right now so kind of worked out for me right now as we head on down obvious guys a good thing to be watching out for are these football outsider cards i'm not gonna lie i was sniping them out yesterday uh after they first came out pretty great stuff you can get from here let's see what justin tucker's going for where's jt justin tucker's going for like 170 i was sitting on there and getting these guys so i was getting for like 150 140 you can sell them you can make like 5 to 15k per not bad at all and another guy like with cole harvin i got him for like i don't remember what i got him for maybe it was low eight, maybe low 70s i don't remember exactly what i got him for i think it was on video but I saw a lot of them going for cheaper than that. I was just waiting to see if he'd get any cheaper and then he came back up. But the point being is, on the initial football outsider hype, if they drop anything that looks fire, like the McCole Harbin, people are going to be opening that pack. So I would just recommend you always stay on top of those. When new things come out that are exciting, check their filter. Like uh, if, a, if a hot legend drops out, right? Like some crazy legend, like a Randall Cunningham, something that everyone wants or something like that. Always be checking the legend filter when people are opening the packs. People are going to be spamming packs for that legend and coincidentally also pulling a bunch of other stuff, which they want to sell off quickly to go open more packs. Same thing with Football Outsiders. People are probably pulling for, let's say, the Eckler or whatever they want, and they're going to be opening up a lot of McCole Hardman, so he's going to be cheap. Just one thing, you know, a little bit of advice to be dropping there. Now, coming over to the things that I'm really disappointed about, and that is pretty much the Redux cards. I am not happy with the way this, this filter here, 9293 filter, I do not like it. Take a look. Ty Law and Clinton Porter are super cheap, but no one really wants them. Ty Law has his captain card, and quite honestly, if you powered up Ty Law, everything would be 90s, but that means you have to power him up and you're stuck with him, and he's not overwhelmingly amazing, in my opinion. Clinton Porter is actually pretty good, but people have Saquon already, and it's just not that much of an upgrade to go ahead and spend all those coins on Clinton Porter. Now, it's flooded with all these cards right here, all these uh, Halloween cards. Ed Tutal Jones is actually really good. I don't know why he's so cheap. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I really do like Ed Tall, Too Tall Jones right here. Maybe I should try to buy that. Guys, guys, do I buy that? Oh, no. Is he worth it over Cam Jordan? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to save my coins. Pretend I didn't see it. All right, so like I was saying, Ed Too Tall Jones is okay. John Henderson's pretty good. Gene Upshaw is good and all. So these legends are cool, right? This is like the normal market. Then we get to like the deep depths, which I'm going to call the Redux players, which is where I expected that I would really enjoy coming into this. So obviously the disgusting ones like Matt Ryan are super, super cheap. That was expected. Alvin Kamara is 540, which again, overpriced. Alvin Kamara has, well, I'll just show you. Look at that. Faster by three, almost the same Excel, better agility by three, better carrying by three. The catching is actually better for him, which I assumed. Elusiveness by one, truck by four, and break break tackle by six or five. The speed and break tackle alone is all I need to know. Plus the agility. And I don't know what the juke and spin is, but like certain cards should not be as expensive as they are. And they look at that. 
The juke, the juke and spin, Saquon kills him. Obviously, the, the juke's similar, but the spin kills him right there. In my opinion, it just, it just doesn't make sense for Alvin to be 500k. I would love to pick him up for like 300k, which is where he should be sitting. Le'Veon Bell, another guy, should not be at the price he is. He's a great card, but he should not be at that price. Andrew Luck actually went up in price. And you know why? They got they have no exchange sets for them. They didn't give us an exchange set that gave us like, not, it doesn't have to be Redux cards, right? It could just be an exchange set for these overalls, and we could work with that. These guys are too expensive. Michael Vick went up. I wanted to get Kittle, Randy, Dion, and Donald, but their Redux cards go for the same price at limited times. So EA thought that by dropping Redux cards, if you're gonna drop Redux cards, at least make their, their, their rates that you can pull them higher, much higher, because Redux cards should mean, oh, these cards are almost going to go back to positional value. So Dion should be like 700K, because he's still Dion Sanders. Donald should be like 700K. Kittle should be like 600K. Uh, Le'Veon Bell being a 93 overall should be like at 500K. Alvin Kamara at a 92 with those stats should be at 300k. It should go back to positional value. Redux should mean that these cards go from being limited back to being a regular card pretty much. Not that, that people are just going to sell them for limited time prices anyways. But guys, it is about it for the video. I'm not going to keep ranting about this anymore. I've ranted about this too much. But point being is don't buy the Reduxes. I recommend you wait on them because I, I just can't stand the idea of the fact that they're almost as much as my 10 cards because EA has done nothing to actually bring their value down. But it's about it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Comment down below if you're new. Say what's up. Let me know what you guys think of the whole Redux system because I am not excited about it. By the way, come join the family. Forgot to say that. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get the video to 200 likes. You guys have been killing it. All the OGs, all the supporters. Always make sure to like the video. It means a lot. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.